I got a Friday afternoon to you TGIF and look at this. The sunshine is starting to come back here at this lunch hour. Thank goodness, right? It's been so gloomy all morning. Oh, uh, but at least the sun's out. Makes you feel a little better when it's only 55 degrees outside, right? Am I right? Yeah, we know we're right. Uh, northwest winds at 14, a little breezy out there as well, too. But you can see thicker clouds are kind of finally eroding away. Now we're not done with the clouds yet. We still have some more to the north. They still have to come through. Now they're kind of dying out and evaporating as they get to the south. So we're going to have like a partly cloudy afternoon afternoon out there, but nonetheless, though, much better than it was earlier this morning where we just kind of socked in with all the clouds. High pressure will be temporarily building in for tonight, tomorrow before another system starts moving in. We'll talk more about that in just a bit. Right now, though, we're looking at 55 across the entire South Shore. Laplace, Reserve, Kenner, Metairie, that to Lakefront, Belt Chase at 56, 57, Homa, and also 57 in Slide L. But temperatures, look at this, 10, 20 degrees colder compared to the same time yesterday. We were 73 degrees at noon yesterday. That's a big difference out there, and you can see the winds around 10 to 20 or so mile per hour, so there is a little bit of a breeze, but nothing too significant. It will have some breezy conditions until the sun goes down, then the winds will die down later tonight. But uh, look for the clouds to continue to decrease 59 by 3 o'clock this afternoon. That'll only be our high temperature, so we're not going to warm up too much for the rest of the afternoon. And then it gets chilly out there for tonight, which means perfect weather to maybe make some gumbo. But uh, hey, look at this 59 degrees are high here, maybe 61 Slidell, Bell Chase, Homa, depending on how much sunshine we see, but Normal high is 67 degrees, so we're going to be below normal. And then for tonight, here comes the cold again. Now, Devin, get ready. It's going to be chilly again. 35 degrees across the North Shore. Frosty conditions there. 45 on the South Shore. So we do need to take those frost precautions, if you will. Cover, bring in those plants. Warm place for pets. Check on those that may not have heat. And, of course, this is not pipe bursting. We're staying above freezing. But uh, heaters obviously use with caution. So just keep that in mind. Keep a good three-foot radius around any kind of space heaters. Now, a chance for rain, nothing today, tomorrow. But looks like a little rain is going to return Sunday before we start to dry out again early next week. Now what we're watching is our next system. This is water vapor showing moisture in the mid levels of the atmosphere here. And you, I put the wind streams on to show where the winds are at that same level. This is about five, 10,000 feet up on the ground. And you see here that kind of this little dip, if you will, this is what's called a trough and it right in the base of it or the bottom of it. That's where we have this low. That's going to be moving a quick way across Texas and heading our way into the weekend. So I'll show you it here. You can see this is the model showcasing that spin right there over top of us by Sunday afternoon. Now, as this comes in, that's going to bring us some cloud cover and some rain. It's going to sweep out of the area quickly, though. So by Monday, it's actually a cold front following behind it, and that's going to help to make for some better weather. So today we'll have those skies clearing this afternoon, looking pretty nice. Heading on into tonight, 10 o'clock, kind of chilly. So for the high school games tonight, it's going to be a little cold, so bundle up for those. A few clouds start rolling in tomorrow morning, kind of a partly to mostly cloudy day tomorrow. So not going to be pretty, but it'll be dry. And then as we head into Sunday, we'll start off with more clouds. And then here comes some showers during the afternoon, about 30% chance for rain starting at lunchtime, continuing to the afternoon. Here comes that next front as that disturbance moves away from us, giving us a little rain early on Monday morning, and then by Monday afternoon, the weather will drastically improve. How about football weather? Tulane is up in Memphis, 11 a.m. kickoff tomorrow. Temperatures in the 50s there in Chile. LSU hosting Bama in Tiger Stadium. 7 o'clock kickoff there. 50s for temperatures, so bundle up in your warm LSU gear. And the Saints head to Atlanta for noon. Uh, sunny, chilly temperatures in the 50s, so uh, of course they play indoors there, so it really doesn't matter. But anyway, 59 today, 61 tomorrow, 59 on Sunday with a little rain. Then we clear out next week. Frosty mornings Tuesday and Wednesday in the North Shore, but check it out. 70 degree temperatures return by Thursday.